Can we have a round of applause for Evie, who's coming to the dance studio? Hey! hey. All right. Wow. Welcome. Thank That's you. That's not your first Tomorrowland, is it? Your... It's not my first one. No, no. I think it's my 14th edition. Yeah. yeah. How do you make your show different every time? Uh, wow. I think every year there's so many, so much new music. Uh, and music evolves. So if you compare my set like the first edition I played here and now, it's probably uh, like totally different. Yeah. yeah, you do like playing a lot of like uh, R&B style tracks, don't you? Like Missy Elliott, you remix one of those tracks and Timberland. Yeah, it's been a while, but uh, yeah, I like to mix it up. For me, I don't like to think in boxes. It's all about music, electronic music, and if it's like techno or dance or trance or tech house, it doesn't matter. If I like it, I'll try to put it in my set. This if, is if it fits. Such a perfect segue. Sorry, Jade. Again, I have to yeah. apologize to Jade for all my interview questions because they're so uh, random. But no, <laughs> we so love them. I read that you were inspired by. Detroit, Detroit techno, quite a bit. Well, yeah, well, the, like when I started, like techno was huge. Also in Belgium, we had like a big trance scene and a techno scene. So yeah, that's uh, I, I started with guy like for me guys uh, like like Jeff Mills, Claude Young, uh, Dave Clark, uh, Carl Cox. Th those were like my inspirations when I started, like when I was 15 years old. Uh, I want to play something for ago. you okay. from Detroit. I'm from Detroit. You're from Detroit, okay? And okay. I want to play something called Ghetto Tech. Ghetto tech. This is a genre, and you have to tell me if you've ever heard anything like this before. Okay. It's like drum and bass, but with super aggressive phrases being yelled over it. Here we go. Okay. You don't have to like this. <laughs> That's it. That's all I wanted okay. to give you. Uh, you don't have to say anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep it. <laughs> all right. So you are number 34. On the DJ Maglet. Uh, right? Actually, it was last year. Last year, so I, I think. Uh, la wait, no, it was two years ago. Yeah. I think this year I was actually just out of the top hundred. I was one hundred and four or something. No, yeah. we emailed yeah, them and we said put them back on, and oh, you thanks, actually are thanks. number thirty-four again. So okay, congratulations! Wow. Yay, party! Two, two years ago, how did that feel to be up there? Well, it's always an honor. Uh, the thing is, for me, DJing is not like a contest. There's so many good DJs out there. There are too many DJs out there. And uh, it's very hard to say, like, okay, this one is the best. I think it's more about the music you, you produce, mm -hmm. uh, like the show you bring. But at, a, and at the end of the day, like I said, it's, it's about music. And yeah, I meet guys, DJs all, all the time who are not famous and who are really amazing. So. It's all about fun, music, and passion, and that for me is the most important thing. But of course, it's an honor if you're in, in yeah. the top one, for sure. Oh, yeah. Did that give you a little flashback? Which one? From being a teacher? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. You called wow. on me. You were ready. You were <laughs> yeah, ready. I was with ready. It. I was you're ready. like, yes. Wow, my that, uh, the gentleman right over there. <laughs> what, uh, what made you finally? You were doing the teaching thing, and yeah. then you were, you were producing, you were DJing, and eventually you were like, okay it's time for me to completely move on to this. What was that moment when well, you decided to stop teaching? Well, the thing was, I always combined like the teaching part with the DJing because I started teaching when I was 15, but in the beginning it was more like in Belgium, more local clubs and things like that. When the, the offers came from abroad, I had to make a choice. I couldn't combine it anymore. And then, yeah, of course, I chose, chose for my passion, yeah. which is music. And this is a dream coming true. It's, it doesn't feel like a job, it's like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Good life. And and like the the <laughs> likes of like David Guetta was quite supportive of you from the start. Yeah. And then yeah. who's been like your biggest supporter would you say? The person that's helped you the most? The person I don't think there's like one person. I think Tomorrowland helps uh, helped yeah. me quite a lot because uh yeah, I was there from the beginning and I, like the evolution Tomorrowland did. Yeah, I was lucky to be like on the on the flow or this how, how you say it. So Yeah, on the rise. On the rise. Yeah. So um yeah. I think Tomorrowland is probably my biggest supporter. <laughs> well, we're pumped that you're here and we're excited to uh, to be able to do this with you. Yeah. We won't we, take up any more no, of your time because we know you're in a yeah, hurry. Yeah, you've yeah, got 45 indeed. minutes until your set, right? Yeah, indeed. So, All right, let's, let's go, man. Thank you for talking to, to us. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thank you.